Um, because I just don't like to put dogs or any anybody under anesthesia. anesthesia. Yeah. But we'll get his teeth cleaned at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, he's getting so old, the healing time's going to be an issue, too. So, but, uh, yeah, he, he uh, otherwise, he is not, you know, I think he's had maybe one, one ear infection, and that's our fault. So, but he, uh, he's, uh, you know, tip dysplasia, no, nothing, really. He's been incredibly healthy. That's good. Yeah, well, the lab was too, actually. She didn't have any problems. She, she only, her biggest problem was like if she got a cut or something, she would want to lick it incessantly because it's sitting right in front of you, you know, on that forepaw. They just, in labs, I think, are prone to that anyway. They like to lick on things and she. Well, these seem to have a real good personality. Um, I don't know if Deborah told you, but she's got a buddy over in. London, England area, and they've got two two English cockers. Oh, do they? Yeah, and she sort of kind of fell in like with them. And of course, my daughter was wanting some little peahead dog, like a Yorkie or a 